Transferable skills are vitally important within my job role. Things to do with communication, um, maths is vitally important. You don't realise that you're doing it half the time, but from doing the maths and English, I realised that I was doing it anyway. I was doing it daily and I was able to transfer what I'd learned from the maths straight into what I do every day. Functional skills is probably the latest incarnation of really maths and English. One of my problems uh, of, of delivering functional skills is that, that even the students still think of it as maths and English. The good news about functional skills is that um, instead of it being a, a, a sort of rote learning uh, method where you, you, you learn to pass uh, a particular exam by doing things in a certain way, functional skills is about people being able to problem solve without it being, please answer this question. It's about giving people the skills to be able to use maths and English in a, an everyday situation, i.e. In, in the workplace. I didn't believe that I'd do it, but I did, and it feels good. My first two or three sessions really is about overcoming uh, people's um, fear of this terribly bad thing that's going to happen to them when they can't, you know, solve this mathematical uh, problem and um, getting people to realise that nothing bad is going to happen and that uh, all I'm here to do is give them the tools to be able to solve problems um, that, that they can relate to their everyday life. Oh, this isn't like maths, this isn't like it was at school. I've been left school for like over 20 years now, so it's just a bit nerve-wracking getting back into the, you know, the school kind of thing and just learning again. Like I said, I haven't you really use this type of maths because everything was in stones and pounds where everything's in kilograms now. So obviously with working on my maths, I can go back now and do it in kilograms. I'm all right with my English, not very good with my maths. Because um, as we use maths with the low flow charts for pressure sores and there's a score system there. So I got a lot of support off my tutor so I became more confident about maths. So now if I'm doing anything with numbers, I don't struggle like I used to do. And the good thing about functional skills is it, it does relate very well to everyday situations. It will help them with the form filling in, it will help them with the care planning, how important it is on the legal side. And I think because you know you explain it in, in the practical terms, they can see the links and it does encourage them. The communication part of the apprenticeship has given the staff a lot of confidence um, especially when talking to relatives, GPs, social workers, they feel confident that the information they're giving is actually correct. And um, by doing their English, it also has helped them with the paperwork, which as we all know is a very important part of the job as well. Um, we need to pass this information on to the next shift and the next shift. So by people doing their English and um, realising the importance of communication, um, we've benefited greatly. The skills that I developed were vitally important when it came to issues such as monthly audits where the maths was concerned. Um, I was able to use that to a great advantage. As far as the English, you know, with communication skills, I, I developed a lot more communication skills. The form filling, the record keeping, it must be, uh, must be accurate, it must be legible, um, it must meet certain legal requirements um, and it must be able to be understood um, two years down the line when somebody's referring back to, uh, to incidences that may have happened. We've definitely seen some really good results um, in-house and, and them working on the floor with um, form filling and care planning and you know the, the math side of things. Um, for them personally I think it's really helped their um, personal growth um, and helped with the confidence. It's benefited in the fact that you don't realise how you would use both skills in your everyday to day job, but you do. And if I hadn't done what I've done, then probably I wouldn't be in the position that I am today. It makes you grow, it makes you feel more confident. And if you've got confident, you do a better job. When I meet a, a pupil for the first time, or, or a new group of pupils, it is to assess uh, where they're actually at at the moment. Because the worst thing we can do is, is to uh, set somebody off on a course that they're really going to struggle with. We need to start them at the right level and build them up to the level that they need to be. So everybody that comes through the door it has a, a, a very basic initial assessment to, to start with. 
and it's, it's a series of questions. Everybody is going to be able to answer a good majority of these questions, but there's some harder ones sort of sneaked in there. So that when they get the score from this very initial assessment, it gives us a guide to, to where they're at without that person feeling that they've completely failed by getting nothing right at all. There's then a second assessment that that, that guides us to that goes into a bit more depth. And that will usually tell us what sort of level somebody's working at. We're aiming, generally speaking, if somebody's doing a level three qualification, that they want a level two in functional skills. The third assessment, once we've got a sort of level that they're already working at, gives us a diagnostic of exactly maybe fractions that they're struggling on. That's a common one. Um, but they might be all right at doing perimeters and areas and, and things like that. So I can then target what that group needs and what the individuals need. For some students, the functional skills can be very daunting. And, and what we try to do is to create um, kind of a group support system as well as the tutor's support and as well as the assessor's support. Um, so we find that quite a lot of our students want to come together and work on certain areas um, that have been delivered in class and say they have some homework to do. They'll get into small groups and they'll come into the training centre and they'll work together for a couple of hours at night. And I think the support from the peers has really helped them and encouraged them to, to take that step and to, to go on to the apprenticeship courses. A really good method I've found is to... Once somebody's learned a skill, maybe uh, how to um, convert fractions into percentages, uh, for example, for that person to show another member of the group, because by teaching it to another member of the group, it actually embeds the, the learning for themselves. For me, the transferable skills was really daunting. I didn't, didn't want to go there when I knew that we had to do that. Um, however, that, that was the condition. And I did it. I think it's massively improved the, the standard of care that we're now giving from the training that we've received, from everything, new skills that we're learning all the time. And I think it does make you feel a lot more confident in the care that you're giving is to the highest standard.